Well guys, I got some bad news. I hate this. I'm only nine miles in, 10 miles in on the ride. And I pulled over to, to take the camera off and take us some uh, third person shots. And my tank bag's gone. I had it behind. Starting to get up in elevation just a little bit, being able to have some views of these pretty Blue Ridge Mountains. So I believe it's going to be a good little day of ride, guys. Appreciate everybody riding along today too. So it's nice to bring the camera along and take some video of some nice back country, North Georgia. took a little detour guys I saw a little creek down here and a little bridge and it looks like maybe a little camping area yeah that's pretty cool nice little camping area a little creek here really nice little area right here look there's a grill I don't know if, yeah there's some camps out there this is cool this looks like this uh, detour We'll get us right back on the trail that we were on. There's another campsite. I'm glad I came this way. This is going to be nice to know about right here. Well, guys, I found myself on a road a little less traveled. <laughs> and it's got some pretty big rocks. But uh, Himalaya is doing just fine. It's not terrible yet. I, before I turned the camera on back there, that was a pretty good climb. But... I think we're gonna be good it's just uh you can tell by the leaves on the ground it hasn't been a super good fit of vehicles on it but you never know what you're gonna find it could be an awesome campsite that was worth every second of it some big mud holes we might try to attempt to avoid those ride the solo this is super nice back in here man this is pretty i mean it's pretty big rock surge stone but it's uh ripped um pretty smooth other than that and this is nice this is, should be coming out on the uh original route i had routed out which uh by the way the original route is the smoky mountain 1000 it's a little leg off of the 500 that extends on through into tennessee and uh it was already on the map so that's kind of how i found it i didn't have it highlighted but I was trying to find a way back to not have to hit the road last ride and I had found it and I was like well that's part of the 1000 and uh, so I, I got it highlighted on here and I'm just going to run it backwards from the way I had originally planned on running it today but I'm glad I took this little offshoot here it's pretty cool oh by the way looking at Gaia here I'm going to do a video soon. Um, some guys on the Transamerica Trail uh, Facebook group, I reached out. And, uh, I see a lot of people ask, what GPS should I run? You know, and if you got an old phone that's Android or iPhone, um, it's, it's, it's my opinion to use Gaia. It's free, and it's only uh, like $20 or $30 a year if you want uh, the paid version. Now, the paid version is definitely a little better, but... Uh, I'm going to do a little review on it soon and like how to use it. I'm not really that good with it, but it's been a learning curve for about a year now. And I've gotten to where I can use it pretty good to navigate. I still don't know a ton of the features, but I'm going to do, I'm going to show a little mud here. I'm going to, or a water hole. I'm going to show how to put a route in there from the GPX. If somebody uh, emails you a GPX file, man, there's some big rocks under there. Momentum is your friend on this trail. This is the kind of ride I like, though. It's off the beaten path.
it just kind of riding towards the Himalayan really shines. I think if it's super treacherous for me, it's a little heavy. But I mean, like I said, you just keep the momentum up, keep it rolling. It's got a good low seat height. And I'm a little vertically challenged, as I said before. <laughs> So the Himalayan's got the factory gearing, and it's pretty good. You can ride most of this in a second, and it just chugs. It's just a good, torquey, that 4, 411, I think it is, CC. It's just good and torquey. And you can pretty much just let it chug along, not ever have to gear it down a whole lot. Well, guys, I got some bad news. I hate, it's, I'm only nine miles in, 10 miles in on the ride, and I pulled over to, to take the camera off and take us some uh, third person shots, and my tank bag's gone. I had it behind me, um, and I actually had it a safety tether on it in case the, it's magnetic, and it's never come off before, ever. And I always, but I always tie it. And it's got my truck keys, I mean, there is an absolute ton of stuff in that bag. So hopefully there's been nobody on this road right here. I'm gonna backtrack and take my time and look and make sure it didn't wind off down through there. But I'm thinking that maybe when I got on these rough rocks, it may have shook off. That's, that's what we can hope for. But I haven't looked behind me, I don't think the entire ride. And I've definitely passed some cars, so maybe somebody found it all we can do is just hope this this is bad guys i'm getting a little bit worried i thought that was a glove i've been riding i think about four mile three miles and i hadn't found it yet but it gets a little rough up here and that's what i'm hoping there was some big rocks Tell you what man if i can't find that i got a long ride back to the house to get some extra keys oh man look at that the right where these big rocks are oh my favorite hat oh man i can't believe it thank goodness Whew. we can keep on carrying on man i can't believe that thing fell off it's i've had it forever and it's never done that Maybe, did I get off right there? No, that's on a hill. I don't know what happened. And I'm telling you, there's so much good stuff in this bag. I mean, oh, lunch is in there. Well, no, well, some of it is. I mean, it's magnetic. And it's really strong magnets and it's always sat there, but I always run this strap right here, oh, it come untied. I always run it through this. I'm gonna fix it back a little better. But check this out. You guys can see. Car keys, my batteries for my jacket, flashlights, tools, these pliers right here are awesome. Microphone, extra GoPro batteries. I mean, there's several. Well, I don't know, it might be a hundred well the keys are priceless right now so all right guys i'm gonna get it strapped down and get back on the trail Whew, thank goodness
All right, guys, since daylight savings time's gone, I don't have a ton of daylight. I got a good little bit, but I, I usually fix a hot lunch, you know, and uh, bring my little camp stove. But today, this is a pretty cool idea. Get you this little thing of tuna. It's already mixed up, ready to go on a sandwich. But I don't really eat a whole lot of bread on the trail, so I just take some crackers of any kind, saltines. That's just what I had today. Put them in here, mix it all up. Eat it with a spoon, good protein. Got some jerky here for for a little bit of more protein and then Oreo cookies if I'm feeling really bad. <laughs> All right guys, we're gonna take a little lunch break here and then we're gonna get back on the trail. Back on the trail here after lunch. It looks like uh, our lunch break, it's 2.30. <laughs> um, looks like we're gonna be getting back out here on the on the regular part of the marked route here for long, but this has been a really nice little trail. I mean, I know I lost my tank bag and then I lost the stuff out of it, <laughs> but that's all right, we're moving, moving forward. There's a bunch of nice little campsites down through here just a nice area I had never been on this part of it all right so we're gonna take a right right here and keep moseying on the main trail let's make sure the tank bags back there yeah <laughs> I got it tethered off pretty good now I don't think it's gonna come out that was a good trail really good trail You know it's fun to ride the gravels too but sometimes when you get off the beaten path and get a little bit more challenge it's fun too a little bit of both oh check that out <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, there's a cabin up there, man. That's nice. There's a pretty good view to the left there too. I don't know if the camera does it justice or not, guys, but that's a pretty good view. I'm not sure exactly what I can see, but I should look at the map probably, but I think I can see the three reactors of Oconee Nuclear Station, which would be 60 miles away or so maybe. I was right, guys. Look right here, if you can make this out. Let's see. Yeah. Um, this is Lake Kiwi. Lake Kiwi was built because of the nuclear station. And then the air is pointing at it. That's the way we're headed. And that's it. So that's what I'm looking at. It's way off in the distance. That is crazy. So the nuclear station would be probably like right in here, in this area. That's pretty cool. I thought that looked like back towards where I live. That's pretty cool. Oh, tarmac. Get a little smooth ride now. It's always so cool to come out in places you've never been to before. Man, that's living right there, huh? Wow, check that out. That is absolutely beautiful guys just let me around them I don't want to mess them up man that's pretty sure is hope the camera catches that this is super nice okay well that answers the question so Skelly Mountain is a ski resort that's pretty cool let's ride in there and see if they got some snow Yeah, got some piled up. That's pretty cool. Tubes, tubing. Here we go, here comes one. Ha 
<laughs> I've been seeing a lot of this FJB on vehicles stuff around. I'm not really sure what that means. I see bumper stickers and guys comment down below if you know what that is. I see that everywhere. Pretty nice little area right here, a little look off. Kind of looking back towards where I live. I, st I still can see the uh, the Oconee Nuclear Station. It's pretty cool. We're headed towards Highlands now. Possibly might try to find a, I marked a little place here on the map that may take us back to the truck, a different route and possibly some dirt. I'm not sure. We might have to go down and check it out. We can always hit the road and pound pavement if we run out of daylight. It's just now a little after three though. Pretty cool ride. Yeah, it kind of gives you that old school Germantown feel in a way. Maybe not. This little hotel there is nice. I think things in this town are probably sort of expensive, but it's still a neat place. Nestled in the mountains. When my little my daughter was little there's a little toy store here that's got neat little toys we used to bring her to it i think it's down here on the corner maybe it's been a while so here's going to be 28 a lot of people got christmas trees this weekend good weekend to do it Boy, it's chilly. 3,700 feet this town is. There's another tree. Boy, that's a big tree. People at the coffee shop. We're going to stay to the right. Now, there's going to be some crazy curves down through here. This is, this is to me, it's just about as good as the dragon. Man, it's chilly. <laughs> Might have to turn the jacket up. All right, guys. Here's what I'm talking about. Uh, 28, you can see we're up on top of the mountain here. And it's pretty curvy. It's definitely worth the ride. This isn't really the curviest part of the road, but it's definitely worth the ride. Himalayan absolutely is phenomenal in these turns. I never would have thought a dual sport bike or adventure bike would, would handle turns like this thing does. It's not a super fast machine, but it's torquey. We're in fifth gear running 40 miles an hour and it just lugs right along. It's really beautiful up here. All right, guys, so it looks like I turned off a 28 and found this little road right here. I got to make sure I stay right at this uh, wheel branch gap, but it winds around and goes right back into that same little road that I was on this morning that I lost my bag on. Made me look back and make sure it was there again. <laughs> but uh, this looks like this is going to be a pretty good circle. Let's see. We got to see what's going on right here. Private property and road dead end, no river access. Okay. Well, that sure looks like you can get through there. 
huh this looks like maybe somebody's house yep okay that's weird well guys I went down the dirt road and the road split and I went both ways and both ways were dead ends or at least the sign said they were private drives so I guess that used to be at some point maybe a place to that you could get through there I would love I don't know if I'll have time but I'd love to come up from the other side and see if it comes out and those signs were actually telling a tale but anyway we're just going to roll down through here on the highway 28 here and hit some curves and make the best out of it catch back up with you at the truck hopefully Well, that took absolutely no time. We're gonna have time to go back down and see where that trail goes. Wow, I didn't realize it was that close. It takes forever to do that in a car. So we pretty much just took a big circle right back here at the truck, that's cool. Overflow Creek Road. There's the truck, still in one piece. Don't look like anybody's messed with it. So let's make the most of it while we're here. Roll down through there and see where that comes out. Somebody's telling a tale, I do believe. Well, I have an answer for the block road. So I've come from the other end and went all the way to where almost where I was at before, but not quite. And there is a guardrail up across the road. And it, and it basically dead ends at a waterfall. And there's a little box. I was gonna take a picture of it, but I just turned around, there was some people camping. But anyway, so it's definitely not a go all the way, at some point it's, it used to go the, all the way through, but I'm assuming that somebody purchased a property probably off of 28 highway there. And uh, then the forest service probably shut that road down. So at least we know. Chattooga River. Everything in these parts is pretty much Indian names. That's a really nice river though. I've caught some nice trout out of that river in the South Carolina side of it. A place called Burroughs Ford. It's really nice. Well guys, I really appreciate you guys riding along today. And uh, we've had a pretty good ride. I know it kind of started out a little rusty. I'd lost my tank bag which had my truck keys in it and a, a lot of valuables that I really need for the trail <laughs> but uh, I really appreciate you guys riding along and uh, check out that Milwaukee jacket down in the link below I'll put a link below for it and uh, that link is an affiliate link that'll help the channel if you guys want to grab one all right guys that's gonna do it for today's video i appreciate you guys riding along um <clears throat> it's a pretty good ride today uh it started out a little rough you know lost my bag and went back and found it and that was exciting and then i lost some things out of the bag and went, went back and found them so it's a good little day like i said a little celebratory day celebratory ride that we went on today for for the land of the free and the home of the brave here in america and uh, appreciate the fire service giving us a place to ride and all that good stuff. And I uh, appreciate you guys. Appreciate every one of you guys coming along for a ride, hanging out with us. And uh, this is the Tatuga River here, down here today. And uh, pretty much a good bit of our ride rode beside of it. And uh, I didn't take too many pictures, just 
um, enjoyed the ride and filmed a little bit. But uh, anyway, guys, don't worry anymore. Appreciate you riding along. Um, make sure you leave us a like, comment, and uh, think about subbing to the channel if you haven't. And uh, we'll do another one here soon. Come back and ride along again. All right, have a good one.